Today I want to show you how to design a floorboard for a 2026 F1 car, how to read the rules and why from an F1 designer's point of view the 2026 regulations leave a lot of back doors and are written in a pretty naive way. So as we discussed in my other videos, F1 teams try to push the front rear wake away from downforce producing parts. In the past they could do this with the barge boards which were not allowed anymore since 2022. Instead, teams used the outer floor strake and wide side pods to keep the wake out board. For the 2026 car, the regulators even want an in-washing device behind the front wheels, which is called floorboard. It is defined by article C355 and we can see what the regulators expect us to design. So let's start. First of all, we create a folder for this new design, drop in a wing profile, which we used somewhere else before, and start reading the regulations. Article C355 says, the floorboard needs to be in its entirety in reference volume floorboard. We designed all these rag boxes before and you can check out my other video with the link below, where you can learn everything about that and what to look out for. So we pull the reference volume into our folder and start designing. The regulations allow us to have up to three sections in X, Y and Z direction. So let's position three wing elements inside the box. Of course, we are good designers and create in-washing profiles because that's what the regulators want. We want to use the maximum space and so we design these elements over long and finally trim it with the rag box. And in the end, we round the edges to have less strong separations from the tips. Later on, we can still fine tune the tip vortices. Anyway, we have our three-piece floorboard now. And now we get to the point where the regulations want us to do the right thing. So for the part of the board which is visible from outside, rearward of A25, measured from the front axle, they want us to have a normal, so a perpendicular line on the surface, which has a positive x direction. The x axis is pointing rearward, so we will have a positive direction if we designed an inwashing wing. So far so good. And they want us to have a tangent which has at least 15 degree to the x-axis. So it needs to be quite in-washing and we shouldn't be so naughty and design it with less in-wash or even a straight element. Of course some F1 designers are a bit cheeky and they could simply say I just design a dent on the outboard side, I have my positive x component and I also get my 15 degree tangent. So I fulfilled the rules and other than that I do whatever I want. But now the regulations say in paragraph D that there shouldn't be a concave radius of less than 100 millimeters. So now they got us. Some F1 designers would now say, then I just make a one millimeter straight notch in the surface. A straight line has no radius and does fulfill the positive x and tangent requirement. But the regulations say at any point and not just in one point. So we also cannot do that. And in paragraph E, the regulations allow us to have up to three points ahead of XF 1100 mm, for which C and D don't apply within a 35 mm radius. So we can design a round leading edge for the three elements. So now we have our in-washing three element floorboard. It is not just pushing the wake inboard, it's also creating an in-washing tip vortex which pushes the wake inboard further downstream. F1 designers don't want that. So how can we get around that? Simply designing outwashing elements in this rag box doesn't work because of paragraph C. So they wouldn't have a positive x component at any point. But paragraph C only applies for anything behind XF825. So if we design the first element before 825, we can do whatever we want and have a nice outwashing element. For the other two, we realize that the outside walls of the rag box have an angle of pretty exactly 15 degree. So as long as we design outwashing wing elements and trim them afterwards with the rag box on the outboard side, we are fine. The visible aerodynamic surfaces will have a positive x component and a tangent of 15 degree. Additionally, we use paragraph E to exclude the leading edges. So I position points on the profile with a circle of 35 mm radius and make sure that it reaches the point the profiles intersect the rag box. Now I can position a bit weird looking but outwashing elements, trim them with the rag box and I have outwashing wing elements in my floorboard and they are fully legal. 
That way, teams can turn this component, which is supposed to be in washing, into an out washing part and push the front wheel wake outboard, generate more downforce, and be faster. So, the 2026 regulations leave some back doors for teams to get an advantage. While the previous regulations were pretty tight, the new ones are almost naive and not too hard to fulfill and turn parts into something else. Let me know your design ideas in the comments below and check out my online courses and my other videos for more. See you at the next one.